Hey Miss Obey, it's Bobby. Um, it's been a while since we talked, but this is the video that I promised you. It's gonna give you three tips on what you can do to build your online presence, and then in turn, just help you to build your clientele as well. So I wanna give you three tips. The three tips are citations, content, and backlinks. And so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what that's about. First, I wanna show you what I did. I searched home health care in Dallas. I pulled up Google and I typed it in here, and this is what I found. So the first section right here is the ad section. So all the time anyone pays Google to put an ad up, this is where it pops up. This is where it populates. But a lot of web browsers nowadays have an ad blocker. So sometimes you're not gonna see it. So if someone is searching for you or searching for your services, they're not gonna see any of these. Um, the next thing that populates is the map pack. So in order for you to be on this map pack section right here, you have to have what's called a Google business page. So this is something I can help you with. You can do yourself whichever you decide. Um, a lot of people think that to be on the top of the Google map pack, you have to, it's location based only, but it's not the first thing that comes in mind Whenever, whenever Google places you on the top of the map pack is how many citations or directories you're in. So citation is basically just a directory throughout the internet. Be listed in as many directories as possible that are relevant to your business. So anything health wise, go to that, place yourself there. I have a list of different directories. I can see what all of these three um, business stars, businesses are listed in and list you there. I could do it for you or you can do that yourself as well. Another thing in order to get here, it's by the amount of Google reviews you have. So they have 33, 58, and 60. You need to have at least two or three times as many directories as they do or as many stars reviews as they do. The next thing I want to talk to you about is a, is, um, what's underneath the map pack section and this is the organic section in order to be here on the organic section you have to have a website not just any website it has to be content rich website with content rich website with keywords that people are actually searching for so i clicked on here on the first one visiting angels to figure out why they're number one and why none of these other ones are number one. Whenever I click here, it shows me their website. It looks like they do have quite a bit of content. Google really likes you to have at least 1,000, 1,500 words on your website, but I did my word counter and I noticed that on their homepage, they only have 760 words, so that's gonna be super easy to beat them by a landslide. Maybe just have about 1,500 words on your homepage of content rich keywords. The next thing is I pulled up this tool that I have and I put their website in it just to break it down, figure out what else is going on. And it showed me with the content that they have on their webpage, they have 64,000 keywords that Google is ranking them for. So um, there's different things that go on to play whenever ranking for keywords. One of them is how many backlinks you have. You see they have 149 backlinks. What a backlink is is basically when a relevant company or website lists your website on their page pointing back to you. So that gives you more popularity and authority in Google's eyes. And so with the citations they have, with their content and with the backlinks, it's bringing this website alone 201,000 views or visits of traffic every single month. So imagine if you just had a percentage of that, a percentage of those views go into your website. How much more clientele could, could you have? How much more money can, can you um, bring in with that? So those are the three tips I wanted to talk to you about or citations, which is directories, um, keyword rich content, and backlinks. I hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions. I can do this for you or you can um, do it yourself. Just give me a call. I'd like to hear what you think and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Take care.